Hello world, Shelly here, and today I've got for you a camping vlog. I took my Jeep on its first ever camping trip, so I'm going to take you along on my trip, and then I will come back and talk through some of the camping gear that I bought to begin outfitting my Jeep as a camping Jeep. I am no expert by any stretch, but I had a blast and let's go camping. I am at Spruce Knob Lake Campground in West Virginia. I am taking my Jeep on her very first camping trip. And uh, for reference, no makeup. I didn't even bring any makeup. I didn't even bring mascara. This is what the Xmondo Wave Tech does. Fully air dried and I air dried my hair by driving with the windows down. <laughs> So I am really enjoying this stuff, but anyway, really not enjoying what my bangs do. It's been a long time since I've had bangs and now they're curly, like really, really curly. But that is neither here nor there because I am camping. So I am car camping. It's not exactly primitive. There's no cell phone service or internet, but, and no electricity, no running water, no toilets, but I'm car camping, so, you know, I'm not exactly roughing it, but let me show you my current setup. Jupiter here is where I'm going to sleep. I just have a little air mattress and a blanket and a pillow, and that'll be the sleeping area. I do have a tent with me where I can get dressed and all that, but my friend's tent, we have a picnic table, we have a fire pit. I've got my camera set up because I'm hoping to do a little bit of astrophotography tonight. They are at the lake right now trying to catch themselves some dinner. This is Spruce Knob Lake Campground. And I am super stoked. It's gonna be an awesome weekend.
What you got there, Shell? Oh, you hear that crunch? Oh, yeah. Oh. Very first ever peanut butter cup oh. s'more. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. That's freaking Gonna have brilliant. Gonna try that. That's one on your blog. Yes. Buddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you see this? Good morning, Jeep sleeping is awesome. I love it. I want to build a platform in here so that I can camp and sleep in my Jeep. It is the last morning waking up and I ended up I have a little tent outside that I was storing my suitcase and stuff, but it turns out there's plenty of room in here. So I moved it in here. There's my feet. Currently, I don't have a platform in here, so there's a little bit of an incline where the seats are up here. Or my pillow is because the seats don't fold all the way down. They don't fold totally flat, but it's not bad as it is. I'm on a little foam mattress, but I think it'd be even better if I got a platform built in here because there's plenty of room. Even with the roll bar, I can sit straight up here, like top to bottom. So bravo on Jeep sleeping and uh, we're going to pack up and head home. There you have it, impromptu camping trip is complete. It is a lot hotter down here when you're not at 4,800 <laughs> elevation. Jeep is almost done being unpacked. And uh, yeah, so thanks for coming along for yeah, a little quickie, quickie camping trip. Now that I've seen what it's like to Jeep camp, I might have to be doing this more often. Fun, right? So this is the first step toward outfitting my Jeep as a vehicle that I can take camping and sleep in the Jeep. That was my original plan, though I did plan for backup. So let's talk about the equipment that I bought in order to hopefully sleep in my Jeep. And I did sleep in my Jeep. It was awesome. It worked out really well. The first thing is I wanted to be able to keep the sun out and give a little bit of privacy. So I got the Eco Noir windshield shade. It was $14 on Amazon. I do need to get shades for my front windows. I did not purchase them. They do make custom size shades for different vehicles and I will probably invest in those. But we were in a national forest campground so I wasn't too concerned about issues. My Jeep was going to be parked back away from the road. So the windshield shade worked really well. Cheap, easy, slap it in the front windshield. I don't know if it would be sturdy enough for day-to-day -day use, but for the infrequent camping use, and I just put it up there and left it there the whole weekend, it was perfect. I also got for my back windows the second 
row doors, the Eco Noir car window screens, because I wanted to be able to roll down my windows part way, let some airflow in, but not have bugs get in. And I also wanted a little bit of privacy. So I bought the medium size, which are 36 by 17 inches, and they fit totally fine on my Jeep windows. I'm sure some crafty bug would be able to like find a way to crawl up from underneath and get in, but I had no trouble over the three days. I left my windows halfway open the whole time and it kept, we got a little bit of rain and it kept that out and I didn't have any issues with bugs getting in. Temperature stayed perfectly fine. It was in the upper 70s the whole weekend. So bravo on the window screens as well. Inside the Jeep, I knew when I was in the Jeep, it would be dark, so I needed a camping lantern. I figured even if I ended up in the tent that I would need a lantern. I picked up the W Sky LED rechargeable camping lantern. I liked it because it's small. It's got a dim and a bright feature. It had a clamp on it that I could hang it if I was in the tent and you could also charge a device like your phone on it. So I was figuring it would make a good, you know, last resort emergency phone charging device if I needed that. It was $20 on Amazon. It worked flawlessly. It's way bright. I couldn't even use the brightest setting because it was super bright. Small, handy, nice handle. I like it. It worked really well. So let's talk actual sleeping gear. So I bought a memory foam mattress for the back of my Jeep. And you are gonna wanna make sure that the length is going to fit in the vehicle if you are going this route. I didn't wanna get an air mattress because every time I've owned an air mattress, and I've owned many of them, I always get a hole in it, like the very first time I use it, and it's always deflating, and by the middle of the night, I'm laying on the ground, and I just, it drives me nuts. So I didn't want another air mattress. So I got a memory foam. This one is 72 by 24 by ah, two and a third inches thick from Wilpo. It was $99, and it fit perfectly in the back of my Jeep with the seats folded down. The depth of it it's not great for side sleeping but it was totally comfortable sleeping on my back i'm also a heavier person obviously so if you are less heavy you might find it to be perfectly comfortable i still give it a thumbs up i think it is about as comfortable as it's gonna get when you're sleeping in the back of a vehicle and it fit perfectly so that was awesome i got the single size i will only likely be sleeping in there myself. So it worked out very, very well. On top of that, I put, I kind of wrapped it in a bed sheet, a twin bed sheet, and then I just used a blanket. I did bring a sleeping bag with me, but I ended up not needing it because it was not that cold. The temperature stayed very, very comfortable in the back of the Jeep. I had no issues with condensation or a difference between the outside and the interior temperature. Everything just worked out really well as far as sleeping goes. Now, let's talk about my backup plan. So I did bring a tent and I bought it and it seems to be out of stock. So I don't know if it's now a discontinued model, but it's from Ozark Trail and it's it's described as a four person A-frame tent and it's one of those instant up tents the other thing I really wanted, uh, it's not even a two person tent. Two people would be very, very, very tightly squeezed in here. It's really a one person tent in my opinion. But it, when they say you can put it up in 30 seconds, you can literally put it up in 30 seconds because the frame is already attached. You really just lay it out on the ground, flip four different legs out, pull it up. <laughs> and that was it, lock it into place and you're good to go. It was shockingly easy. And it was shockingly easy to take down as well. <laughs> like it probably took a minute because it took maybe 30 seconds to fold it back up and then wrestling with the bag. But I will say the bag that it goes in is plenty big. I had no trouble fitting it. You know how sometimes the bags are just too small and they only fit it when it's all perfectly folded from the factory and then once you've actually used it, it's impossible to cram it back in there. No, no problems like that whatsoever. But this tent was $49 and I think it was an excellent $50 purchase. Like it was excellent purchase. Now I did not end up using it to sleep in. 
but it was my backup and I also kept my suitcase in there for changing my clothes. That wasn't really great in the sense that this tent is not tall enough for me to stand up in, so it wasn't very easy to change my clothes in this tent. I think I'm going to invest in a larger tent that I could stand up in, but for the price, for the compactness, for the ease of up and down, it would be super easy to put up even if you arrive after dark because it's just so small, easy, fast, instant, totally accurate in the way they described it. It was water resistant for the little bit of rain that we did get, so bravo there. And I had purchased a cot for the inside of the tent, the Ozark Trail camping folding cot for $40. Since I wasn't sure if I was going to be sleeping in the tent and I don't like sleeping directly on the ground. And again, I did not want an air mattress because yeah. So the cot, I didn't sleep on it, but it was comfortable. I sat on it. I <laughs> changed my jeans while I was laying down on it because I couldn't stand up and it worked well for that. It folds up super easily. It's super portable, compact, easy, lightweight. Bravo on the cot. I would recommend it. I haven't slept on it, but I'm guessing it would be okay. It's not uh, super firm, so when you sit on it, it has a little bit of give, and I think that would be comfortable. Like, I think that is better than having it super firm, but it's firm, but not super, super straight firm. So, that is to say that I actually loved everything that I purchased for this trip. Now, the thing with camping in the Jeep and sleeping in it is that in the Jeep Wrangler, I've got the four door, I've got a JLU Rubicon, and the when you fold the back seats down, they're at a slight incline, which it's not enough of an incline to be uncomfortable sleeping, but what it does is that incline is gonna dictate where your butt has to go. And because of that, it was farther forward, so I couldn't stretch completely out with my legs. I couldn't have my legs completely straight without hitting the back of the Jeep. Had I been able to lay perfectly flat, I would have been able to scooch up and put my head closer to the front seats because there was plenty of space, but that incline, like where that incline hits, like that's where your butt has to go. You can't really put your butt up here. It's just not comfortable because your legs don't bend that way. So what I decided, I found online on Cheaper Jeeper TV on YouTube, I found he's got a video on how to make, he's got the plans available, a removable platform to put in the back of the Jeep so that your sleeping platform is perfectly flat, takes up the entire back of the Jeep, and the end result is you get a little bit of storage underneath. You can put some plastic bins of, you know, cooking gear, whatever. I didn't have to buy all that because I went camping with friends who had all that kind of gear, but I'm going to have a friend help me. You just need one big old sheet of plywood and these plans and a friend of mine, excuse me, with a table saw is going to help me to create a platform so that next time I go camping, and sleep in my Jeep, I will have a flat sleeping platform. There was plenty of space vertically, like I could sit completely straight up without crouching over at all, even under the roll bar where the lights are. So if I scooch back and I'm not under that roll bar, there's even more headroom above me. I'm five, five and three quarters for reference in terms of height. So that is my plan. There's going to be more Jeep camping in my future. <laughs> I can't wait, really. I'm super excited. So uh, there you have it. That was my first Jeep camping trip. I know this is not related to beauty at all, but you know, it's a geeky thing and you put a geek in the middle of the woods and you got a geek out of water. So it fits the theme that way. <laughs> there you have another vlog slash review slash camping travel video. <laughs> if you enjoy these sort of out-of-the-box videos every so often, give me a thumbs up below. If you had fun with this one, I would appreciate a like. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over geeking out with me. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time for new videos. I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.